Low snap this time, ball is down. He's got an opportunity. Unbelievable, look at this. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Do you believe that? I'm Dr. Byron Hartunian. I'm the inventor of the Lex Brace, which is a patented sports neck brace designed to reduce neck injury and concussions in helmeted sports. This brace has been initially tested and demonstrated to be biomechanically superior to cowboy collar and roll collar, which has been used in football in the past. Additional funding is being sought to do further testing to demonstrate its biomechanical effectiveness. The Lex brace is unique in that as opposed to other commonly used braces, it does not firmly attach to the shoulder pads. As shown here, it is simply placed between the helmet and shoulder pads after the helmet is already on. The unique shape of the Lex brace maintains its protective position while allowing excellent head mobility. A detailed video and CD-ROM called the Lex Brace Story is available to further elaborate on the development and application of the Lex Brace. The purpose of this present video is to demonstrate performance ability when using the Lex Brace. As a team doctor for the town of Lexington High School football team for the past three years, I have worked with several of the players who have used the brace. One of the important factors in the design and utilization of any device to improve safety is that the player needs to have good performance ability. This year, the 2001 football season, two of the players, one on the varsity, one on the freshman, utilized the brace and demonstrated the excellent performance value of it. Chris Spartacino, was the senior fullback and tackle for the Lexington High School football team. He demonstrated in his excellent play the performance value of the brace. In particular, although he had a great season throughout, the Thanksgiving football game, the traditional game against Burlington, Massachusetts, was the culmination of a fabulous season. He scored the two winning touchdowns that allowed Lexington to come from behind and beat Burlington. The video that you'll be seeing will demonstrate the performance quality and the skill of Chris Bartaccino. In addition, there are a few clips of his brother Jesse, who is a freshman who played linebacker as well as tailback. Jesse chose to use the brace primarily while playing linebacker. You will note that Chris and Jesse preferred to pull their jerseys over the top of the brace during play. Before showing the video, we'll show some still pictures of Chris while wearing the brace on offense. Then the video of a mid-season game against Winchester, Massachusetts will be followed by the exciting Thanksgiving Day game against Burlington, Massachusetts. Pass by Tyler Hales is complete to number 45. It's Chris Bartaccino. Number 45, Chris Bartaccino carrying the ball into the end zone for a Lexington touchdown.
Chris Cordicino carrying the ball for the Minutemen. Brought down on the play by number 14, Paul Conley. Chino carrying the ball for the Minutemen. Number 45, Chris Bartichino carrying the ball for the Minutemen. Brought down on the timeouts left here in the first half. Wide right, Kimball, slot right, Porter, wide left, Green. In motion, Porter, inside handoff, Spartacino. Where's number 45? Kind of looks a little bit like McPherson as well. They're just running people over. <laughs> He'll have himself a first down at the 49-yard line. And quick wide left goes Kimball, wide right, Green. Single setback is Spartacino. Slot left is Porter. In motion, Porter. Play action. Throws. Wide open, Spadaccino. Touchdown. Fake to Porter, which cleared out the left side. Spartacino wide open, and he went in the end zone from 13 yards out, and they've cut the lead in half to 12 to 6. Hale director and access director at Burlington Cable Access Television here to oversee the entire production. Third down, 19. In motion. Inside handoff. Spartacino has a first down. Sides on their feet here. As McPherson's been for Burlington, Spadaccino's been for Lexington. Come up tight. Spadaccino, I'll tell you what, I don't think he gets it. Depends he on the spot. He has it, he's got he has it. He's it got the spot it. on the far side. But I'll tell you what, if he makes it, he just made it. He did get it. First, First down. down. Yep. So big first down there by Spadaccino. Just lowered his head and just barreled into the line. Picked up what he needed, just barely. Made that one by about a foot, Paul. Initial charge by the defense of the Devils was pretty good. But Spadaccino kept the feet going. Paul. Almost two minutes here left in the game. We're going to get the two-minute warning. They might be able to get a playoff here before the two-minute warning. Lexington burned three timeouts in the first half. Uh, first half of this of this uh, second half of football it may come back to haunt them here's Sparta Chino it's gonna be close in Burlington territory the 45 he'll be two yards shy of a first down so it's gonna be about third it looks like about third and two third and three here and we've reached the two-minute warning two minutes left at varsity field Paul this series has had its share of terrific comebacks and and I'll tell you, that point after could, could be a big factor here in this game. Burlington has missed two. Lexington has missed one so far. 
So a big third down here for Lexington, third and three. Spartacino has it. And more! He could be going. He's, he's in. Touchdown! Spartacino goes 43 yards. Spartacino gets in for Lexington. Again, he's been the answer so far for Lexington. Big run that time. And now you come up with the big point after that, as we were just saying, Danny. And Lexington converts on the fourth down play. Paul is a big one, and then Spartacino scores his second touchdown of the game. Exactly. But again, you've got to go back, Danny. You can't keep hopping on it, but, uh, you know, just poor tackling that time by Burlington. Yeah. And Spartacino, I mean, they had him up around the shoulders. You're not going to bring him down. Not a guy who's, uh, who's 5'11", 245 pounds. So big point after here for Lexington. Missed the last one. Low snap this time, ball is down. He's got an opportunity. Unbelievable, look at this. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Do you believe that, Danny? A lousy snap from center, the ball bounces wow. around. Just gets it back and they throw it up and they get it. My God. Wow. Actually, that's, uh, that's two, isn't it? The Lexington defense went on to hold Burlington for eight more plays and win the game. Let's look at some video of Chris wearing the Lex brace playing defense. Number seven, Alex LaPointe, carrying the ball for the Sachems, brought down to the play by the Minutemen's number 45, Chris Spartacino. Finally, here is some video of Jesse playing linebacker while wearing the Lex brace. There you go. Now you're hitting somebody. Go get him, go get him, Jesse's got him. Celebration of victory with a supportive family is one of the greatest joys of sports. Performance with safety is the reason the Lex Brace has been developed and is the basis for the Lex Brace philosophy mission statement. The best athletic performance results when using the most effective protective equipment. It is a privilege to have with me today Chris Sparacino, who has agreed to talk about the Thanksgiving football game, his high school football experience, his experience with the Lex Brace, and his future plans. Chris, you had a fabulous high school career. You and your teammates played well, and you had the first winning season for Coach Ty and the Lexington High School football team in 10 years. In the Thanksgiving game, I believe Burlington was favored. What were your thoughts going into that game? Well, for the past three years, we lost to them at the end of every season. And um, me and my friends decided this was our senior season. And we weren't about to let it go. We wanted, we wanted this game bad. Mm -hmm. You know, the game didn't start out too good for you. Uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the first quarter, I think early in the second quarter, you were trailing 12 to nothing and it looked like nothing could stop Burlington. 
What did you do? Uh, what, what happened? What, did you, what were you thinking at that point? I know I haven't given up. I didn't give up at, the, at that point. And I know I had trust my friends that they weren't going to give up either. So we just kept playing our hearts out. We really didn't, weren't ready to give up at that point. We, um, we just got together and we're just like, this is it. No regrets. <laughs> Leave it out on the field. And then we won. It was great. <laughs> it was truly a great game. I, it took me about three or four days to get my voice back. I was screaming so much in excitement. And the Patriots Super Bowl victory, I, I thought of the Thanksgiving game when the Patriots won the Super Bowl. It was absolutely great. Congratulations. Chris, well, I was working with the freshman football team this fall uh, on the Let's Brace trials. Your dad came to me and said that you had an interest in trying the brace. Why was it that you wanted to try the brace? Well, um, I wanted, really wanted to protect my neck and my back. So when I heard about the equi this equipment that could do it, I was anxious to give it a try. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience using the Lex Brace? Well, I was shocked to find out how mobile it was, especially with my helmet on and my pads. Um, it, it was easy to put on and it was just really comfortable. I could move my head from side to side without a problem. Did it affect your performance in any way? Well, there's only so much security you have, you feel when you wear your pads. And um, you, you feel like you can, you're, you're invincible with, when you have all your pads on. And this only gives, gives you that more that boost, that, um, just that confidence boost to make you just go crazy when you're out there. Right. Could you, could you feel the protective benefit of the, of the braces? You know, looking at that video we just saw, you barged through that line, people were trying to stop you, and you bowled over them. At, at times when you made the helmet contact, could you feel the protective benefit of the brace? Oh, definitely. Um, you, it's just, you have to have this sort of crazy streak in you to play, and when you feel like your equipment on, you just want to <laughs> just go crazy. And um, with, the, with the brace, it just, you just feel this much more protective <laughs> Good. sort of shield over you. Good. Well, congratulations on again. It was a great season. Thank you. Um, further congratulations are in order. I understand you've been accepted and will be uh, going to Fordham University in New York in the fall, mm -hmm. and you'll be playing football there. Yeah. Uh, are you planning to use the Lex Brace at your college level? Yeah. Yes, yes, I am. That's great. Chris, your future definitely looks bright. With your talent and skill and with the right coaching, and avoiding injury, uh, your potential is great. And I know you're going to star and make Fordham a great football power. I think you've got great potential to even go to the pros someday. Thank you very much. Um, it is my conviction that if uh, you do continue to use the Lex Brace, it will protect your neck uh, and head better than any other device that's out there and minimize uh, injury in those areas. Mm -hmm. So thank you for talking with us today. Congratulations on a great season and best wishes for a successful college career. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Unbelievable, look at this. Do you believe this? Do you believe this?